The Axminster Weave was invented in 1755 by a gentleman called Thomas Whitty. What was unique about Thomas Whitty's creation is it created an ability to create really intricate and colourful pattern flooring. So this is our colour bank, like of where we get all of our colours from. The British wall that's then um, dyed at colder textiles of yeah. Yorkshire. The one with the blue ticket on is the standard colour. And then every time we get a new dye, our yarn technician will match this to make sure the dyes match perfectly. There's this perfect fusion between House of Hackney and Axminster carpets that both brands are very proud of quality, very proud of sustainability, of craftsmanship, but also of colour and pattern. It's great work of someone like House of Hackney who can cook up the innovative designs and it gives us a challenge as a company. So that gives you an example there of, of, of what we do, how we work it out. So you've got one design there, you've got a runner there, you've got four sabre rugs, you got a rug there, a rug there, a rug there, and a rug over there. Clearly our looms today are more modern than they were in the in, in Georgian times. Most of our Axminster looms were here when I started here 35 years ago. Also the structure and the way we make the carpet has stayed the same. What's happened is we've had more electronics added. We do weave an eight pitch Axminster. It means you get more wool per square inch. So it's like high definition TV. So that's delivering a better quality carpet, but it's also allowing us to achieve more pattern. It's really, really important that we keep weaving in Axminster. We're an important employer for the local town, and we've got many third and fourth generation team members working, working in the factory. I mean, mo most of our weavers have been with the business 30, 35. I think one's been 46 years. It's a highly, highly skilled job. To be fair, I've always said weaving, because I've come up through weaving, so I've been yeah. weaving for like years and years, and weaving is fine, it's when the loom goes wrong that it's hard. We are very, very passionate about keeping weaving alive in, in Axminster. We already have really strong sustainable credentials because we weave with British wool, jute and cotton, but we're pushing boundaries to see what next. We don't have any, any waste materials as part of our production process because any of that yarn that we're not using to weave a carpet goes into the underlay productions.